My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Well, hey, how you doing? Looking at my cow, eh? Awesome cow. Well, let me tell you, the super cow was born out of the trunk of my 1970 Mercury Montego. The trunk was huge. You could fit a couple dead bodies in that thing if you wanted to. It was Christmas time back in the early 1980s, and what better way to show up at a friend's house party than with a car full of booze? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too proud of it now, and I probably shouldn't have done it then, but I drove around from house party to house party making cocktails out of the trunk of my car. I had wine, I had beer, I had liquor, and I even had a shaker and strainer, glassware, and I didn't have to worry about the ice melting because it was winter time. <laughs> Okay, ready for this one? I even rigged up my blender to my car battery so that I can make a few frozen cocktails if I needed to. So let me tell you the story. She was a friend of mine and her favorite cocktail was a brown cow. She loved her brown cows. Like I said, it was Christmas time and I thought, well, what the hell? I'll make her a wonderful Christmas present in the form of a drink, of course. A brown cow deluxe, if you will. You should have seen the look on her face when I started to blend that drink right out on the road in front of her house. <laughs> we were all standing there with our drinks and the snow was gently falling and you know those big flakes falling down lightly and, and for some reason deliberately landing right into her drink. It, w it was awesome. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> When I presented this off-the-cuff, different sort of brown cow to her, she took a sip, smiled, and said, this is unquestionably and fantastically the most luscious super cow I've ever had. And that's where the name came from. It kind of stuck, you know, the super cow. She says, come on inside. Well, let me tell you, the party had just begun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So let's get down to it and make a, a super cow, just the way she liked it. All right, so I've already got some uh, crushed ice ready to go. So what we want is about a rock glass full, about eight ounces, which that looks about right, like that. And an ounce and a half of Kahlua. Half an ounce, is it a half an ounce? Yeah, it is. There we go. Just a little banana, and banana is kind of cool because it just kind of mellows things out, right? So I've got my coconut cream and my half and half. So we're gonna, coconut cream, ounce and a half. See how thick that is? Unbelievable. And our half and half cream. Sweet. And our lid. And start to blend. I like to start off slow, work my way up. Okay, we need a glass. Now, what glass should we use? How about this one right here? And our super cow, luscious, creamy. That is beautiful. Yeah, you should get about 12 ounces or so out of that drink. So all it really needs now is a little garnish. I've got this awesome looking brownie, cha-cha. Then we've got some, uh, well, I've got some organic chocolate here. I'm just gonna scrape some of that off. Chocolate, super cow chocolate. I love chocolate. Do you like chocolate? I love chocolate. I eat chocolate every day. That's uh, 85%. And then to top her off, a little icing sugar. Make it look like that Christmas thing, you know. Sweet. And of course, a straw. There we go. This is really good. 
holy crap. I haven't made one of these since the 80s, and sometimes you forget. Oh, brain freeze. <laughs> okay. Are you really serious? <laughs> Look how fast I drank that. Oh my god. You know we're only going to get one done today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Pretty much> this. <laughs> this is the easy one. Oh my god. <laughs> Even though the name of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Super cow... Super cowalistic <laughs> Super fragilistic? Yeah, well, cow super cow Tune in next week for another episode of Bar Talk and Cocktails Be sure to subscribe Click that button, man